cores, cores, cores. Looks like Intel's going all out with their next line of high-end desktop parts with their new Skylake X Core i9. Yes, that's Core i9 dropping the i7 moniker from the highest end chips and replacing it with an i9. A lot of people have been wondering why this hasn't happened before, but looks like they're uh, about to jump in and make it happen now with the i9 7920X, 7900X, 7820, and 7800X, all X chips. Again, with KB Lake X Core i7 and, well, two Core i7s. We'll take a look at those in just a moment. But the flagship i9-7920X is looking like a monster, featuring 12 cores and 24 threads. I doubt this is going to be a cheap chip. It's probably going to replace the i9-6950X. Yeah, 6950X, the 10 previous 10-core 20-thread uh, CPU with a higher core value, 12 cores and 24 threads, clocked, uh, rocking the new Sky, newer Skylake architecture, which... Uh, yeah, that's actually quite a bit more exciting than the Broadwell E refresh that we saw back a while back. Intel is marketing this as extreme performance, mega multitasking, and the ultimate platform for VR content creation and overclocking. Interesting with the overclocking part because Broadwell E overclocked like garbage and, well, Ryzen doesn't exactly overclock that great either. But Skylake and Kaby Lake did overclock really well with their architecture, so hopefully we'll see that return to the high-end desktop, which would be quite nice. High clocks, high core count, who could complain about that? But the 7900X is looking to have a 10 cores, 20 threads, and rock a TDP of 160 watts with 44 lanes of PCIe Gen 3. Uh, looking to drop somewhere around the price of $999, so dropping to the price that their previous 8-core was. Now the 7820X is a more optimized 8-core 16-thread chip replacing the i7-6900K, uh, so, uh, hopefully somewhere under the $1,000 price point. And then of course it just kind of goes down from there, down to the 6-core 12-thread part, which should be uh, really hard to say right now because the 6800K was around just a little over $400 so hopefully we'll see a little bit less there I mean this time around they've got some actual competition things are looking pretty good there for the Skylake X what about KB Lake X well they're looking for the fastest quad core chips yes that's gonna be uh, quad cores on the same platform as the high-end desktop so you've kinda got an option so both of them seem to be launching at the same time so you get your pick Skylake X with more cores or KB Lake X with more speed and less cores so that's going to be rocking the i7 moniker coming in around $300 or less. One has four cores and four threads, and one has four cores, eight threads. Interesting to see something like this on an LGA 2066 socket at such a high TDP and only support dual channel RAM and quad core with one without hyper threading one with makes me kind of wonder with the fact that they're going for such high-end motherboards and such a high-end platform why we're going to see a simple four core four thread but you know i mean there's a market for that if the clock rates hit high enough maybe it'll appease some people some people will be ready to get it I don't know. Let us hear your thoughts down in the comment below, comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about the upcoming refresh. Um, I, for one, am actually looking forward to seeing the fat, higher IPC and higher clocking architecture of uh, KB Lake and Skylake hitting a high-end desktop with more cores and more threads as well as more PCI, well, just more in general, actually. But only time will tell exactly what shakes out in the end. Well, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we will catch you all in the next video. Well, thank you for watching. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and as always, for more information, hit the article link in the description below, and we will catch you all in the next video.